Hey guys, so welcome back. I hope we're all doing really well. I hope we're all having a great day. I have a video for you that I have been meaning to get around to filming for so long. Um, you guys have actually been asking me for it and I did talk about doing it recently and I've not really known how to tackle it. So I've just picked up my vlogging camera. We're gonna do this very casual vlog style. I think that's gonna be the best way to show you what I'm gonna show you. And that is my jewelry collection, which is sitting here behind me. I've had a little sort through and a little kind of clear out so I've really just got my basic most love most worn pieces and then a few other little bits so I'm gonna go through everything um do my best to link things down below a lot of this will be quite old so it's not gonna be in stock anymore um but everything that I do find I will put in the info box down below as usual I'm gonna try on um as much as I can as well I'm not gonna try everything on for you but I'm gonna try and do a few cutaways so you can actually see what everything looks like on because I know that's so much more helpful than just seeing it laid out on a table or hung up somewhere so yeah without further round I'm just gonna jump straight in. Um, I'm gonna take this off actually and put these back where they belong and I think we will start over here with this little tower. So this is basically my little jewellery setup. This is just on my chest of drawers here in my bedroom. Um, actually, let's first go through where everything's from because I'm sure you guys are gonna want to know. Uh, so the jewellery stand that I have here, which is this really gorgeous gold and marble tea stand. This is from Oliver Bonus and I only recently got this in the last year or so and it has been so incredibly helpful because before um, I never used to hang my necklaces and they got so tangled and I never knew what I had so um, I love these, I highly recommend them. I've also got a jewellery box here which has got a few more lesser worn pieces and a few things that I just like to keep tucked away. Uh, this is, I think I got it in Sainsbury's a long time ago but these like gold and glass jewelry boxes are everywhere. I think they actually do have one in Oliver Bonus. Same goes for this uh, smaller one, which has got some earrings in. This little um, kind of like two tiered gold tray is from Debenhams. I have a bigger one of these as well and they are so handy just to put little trinkets on. This dish is from a brand that I can't bring to mind, but I got it um, from a store called Anami. Um, I will try and link it if they still have them available, but it was like a little handmade um, ceramic dish, which I think is so cute. That's just where my rings are. The print here is from Society6, and the frame is Ikea, and then this plant pot is from HomeSense. Oh, and also this little basket thing, which has got some more earrings in, that is from um, an online store called Yonder. And then I have some marble coasters here, which I found in HomeSense. So that should hopefully clear um, all of that up. And then, like I said, I'm gonna start here. So this is where I keep my necklaces and they kind of go from most used to least used, I guess, because I just grab um, my most worn ones off of the side here. I've, of course, got my heart necklace on here. You guys see me wear this every single day. There's not really a day when I don't have this on. Um, so this just says, I've had a lot of questions about it. It just says heart and it's in um, an Arabic script, which I think is the most beautiful, beautiful thing. I had this made um, by a brand called Anna Lou of London. They do quite a few different um, personalised jewellery items. So in all sorts of languages and different fonts and things like that but I just love the way this one looked and the reason I got the word heart it's funny because it's kind of subconscious I wasn't thinking about it but I actually ordered this around um the time of my mum's birthday and um yeah I just kind of like that I was thinking about her and I ordered this and then I didn't really put the two together but yeah I like to wear this and it kind of means a lot to me because of that so that is definitely my most worn piece of jewellery for sure. So then we have this uh, pendant which is from Reliqua. This is actually quite a long chain and I like this one again it's kind of personalised it's a zodiac Um, this one has a little crabby on it can you see? Isn't he cute? Um, for my star sign, which is of course Cancer, born on the 25th of June. Fellow Cancerians out there, how are you doing? I love all things Zodiac, I think it's so interesting. Um, I probably blame a lot of my <laughs> star signs traits on things that I do when I really should just own up to my own faults, but uh, yeah, I really like this. I also love the uh, shape of it and the size, it's like this rectangular gold pendant and I think it's a bit different to a lot of the circular ones that I have. This is a chain, um, it's really interesting, I think they call this a snake chain, it's very kind of flat and kind of zigzaggy and wobbly. Um, this is from Penelli Croydon and it's a bit different to a lot of the other necklaces I have but I really like it because it just kind of adds a different texture so if I am stacking quite a few um, I find because this one is quite 
thick and it's a little bit more of a chain than just a pendant um, it makes everything kind of work together so that is a newer purchase but i really like it and the brand as well do some gorgeous gorgeous pieces you'll probably see a few brands also repeating on here because i do have my favorites of course um there's a lot of masoma on here monica vinida was also a big favorite for me aurelia um is a really gorgeous more affordable brand too also and other stories do some amazing jewelry which always sells out super quickly so you kind of have to be quite on it but this is a piece from them it's really simple it's just got these three little pendants on quite a short chain i love this star in the middle i think that's so cute so this is a, probably the necklace that i get the most questions about and um it's actually a vintage necklace that used to belong to i think my great granddad can you see on the back here it's got this engraving which says gt tomlinson which was my great great granddad i believe that was in 1903 1803 i actually have had this for years and years and years my mum gave it to me um it's something that's been in my family for such a long time it's a saint christopher i think it's saint christopher pendant so i think that means it's supposed to protect you while you're traveling or keep you safe or something like that which again i really like about it so i do wear that one a lot and i know it frustrates you guys because you can't get hold of it obviously this next one is one of my favorite favorite pieces because it's just so gorgeous this is from um, a brand called brigitte and uh, it's actually a little shell it's so beautifully made it's kind of quite heavy it's a really gorgeous pendant and it's on this super like silky thin chain which i love as well it's kind of like an oyster shell i guess um it's got this like rough texture but from far away you wouldn't necessarily know what it is it looks like a nice like hammered piece um, of gold really like this it's quite special actually it's probably one of the more uh, pricier pieces i have in my collection but i do like to invest in good quality jewelry especially when it comes to necklaces next to it i have uh, another seashell one you can see this is a bit different this is from and other stories again it's a i can never remember the name of this particular shell but these are so popular at the moment it is more of a a trend piece whereas i think this shell necklace is something that's going to look gorgeous forever uh, so that's quite cute and small and then ooh, this is uh, a little bit different this is actually probably one of the only colorful things that i have obviously as you can tell i'm quite into gold this is from astley clark they do a few of these with different stones um but i just thought this green color was incredible um and it's also kind of an oval shape but it sits on its side i think that's a bit more interesting that way and it has this really gorgeous like gold surround so that is a really special piece as well obviously being quite into zodiac and things like that i also really love stars uh, this is just a tiny tiny little uh, stoned pendant which is from soma it's quite a short chain it's really small kind of dainty but i think super super cute really dinky and sweet and i have uh, a sort of similar one here this is a bit more plain i cannot remember the name of the brand that this is from because it was a gift um, but it's just sort of the lightest, really most delicate chain and delicate little gold star. I think it's beautiful. This is another one um, with like a constellation on it. This is from a brand called Muru. So this is, um, again, my star sign, but it's actually the constellation. Uh, you can see these really, really tiny little stars just uh, engraved into it. It's actually little holes that go all the way through. I think that's adorable. Um, on this really cute little round gold pendant and then this is again probably one of my most most worn necklaces i haven't worn this for a while but this is from a brand called carrie elizabeth who are another one of my favorites i think this is their kite necklace um, I also have a matching pair of earrings, but it's gorgeous and detailed and it has this tiny little stone in the middle. Um, I just love the shape of this one. I think it's a bit different. Really, really pretty. Um, that was actually one of the first pieces of jewellery that I properly invested in. It's not um, a super, super pricey brand, but it's definitely much better quality when I was starting to really think about the kind of necklaces and pieces that I had in my collection. I also uh, got this one at the same time. This is kind of like a little short choker style chain with lots of little um circular pendants on it i think that one's really really cute and then we have a total throwback this uh you guys have probably seen a lot i feel like this was such a popular necklace um a year or so ago a few years ago i still think it's absolutely gorgeous this is from masoma um, and it's actually part of the lucy williams collab the first round that she did she's since done a few other pieces it's the mini fang chain necklace and i actually got this for my 21st birthday i think still looks just as good as the day i got it it's stayed in perfect condition and it's probably one that i should wear a little bit more it's kind of 
ended up at the end of this little rack here but um, it's definitely one that I think you can just wear with anything it's so kind of light and subtle but really really pretty as well so that is all the necklaces that I have on this side moving on to the other side is where I keep my earrings now these are going to be a bit easier to go through uh, most of these I think if not all of them maybe apart from one or two are from the high street so I've got some different ones on the top here and then the hoops are on the bottom I'll start with these ones uh, these are absolutely massive I haven't actually worn these for a while but these are just from Topshop they're just a really good plain big gold hoop then I have these which came in a pack of three so I've got the large the mediums and the smaller hoops Ooh, one of which I've just pulled off these I really like because they have kind of like a texture to them they're slightly um, almost like braided metal they're really really pretty I think they're a bit different to just a standard gold hoop so those are all actually ASOS own brand. I've had them for a really, really long time. One of my most worn pairs of earrings. Um, so if I want a gold hoop, I will always crack those out. And on the end here, I have some slightly smaller ones. These are a gorgeous, gorgeous pair from Masoma. They're the gold molten hoops in a size medium. I remember I was deliberating for ages and ages about which ones to buy and they're actually the perfect size they're not too big but they're also not small these aren't completely closed hoops so they do have a bit of a gap at the bottom but i quite like the way those look and then these ones are probably actually my most worn pair of hoops now that i think about it they're kind of slightly thicker they have um, a thicker hoop but they are hollow so they're really light and easy to wear these again are from asos and they have been sold out for a long time now at the top here i have some fancier ones which i i need to find an occasion because they are so amazing they are palm leaf and these are from top shop um, i also have these heart bamboo earrings from top shop which i used to wear a ton these are kind of similar to the masoma ones actually except they're a full hoop and they do go into your ear slightly differently so they sit uh, flat on rather than that way. Uh, these ones are for H&M so if you like the look of the Masoma ones these are probably a good little high street equivalent. Uh, I have these shell earrings from and other stories absolutely love these they did a whole kind of shell range which i think is now sold out these ones are kind of upside down um but they're from asos again they're really really gorgeous they remind me a lot of a pair that are from masoma but they have this little like half moon here which is kind of an art deco style with the engraving there so that goes into your ear and then they just hang down um which i think is a really cool kind of different way to do a hoop something a little bit different they are quite big as well if i compare them to the size of uh, these ones they are definitely a lot bigger but I really really like these a lot I think they're just really interesting and then these ones are a slightly different pair as well um, I got these last Christmas I think they were from Netta Porter but I can't remember the brand exactly but they are so so light you barely feel these when they're on um, and they're kind of an interesting hoop again they're like almost remind me of little ladders that curve around they're not a closed hoop either um, but I wore these a lot last December. They're kind of like a special occasion earring, I think. I would definitely wear these to like a party with my hair up and everything like that. I think they're just a little bit more special and fancy than your standard plain hoop, but I absolutely love them. So that's kind of like my more reachful gold hoopy earrings. I also have a couple of different ones in here. So like the ones I was just wearing, these tortoiseshell ones, which are from... Uh, Stradivarius they actually came in a pack with a couple more of these I think those are in it and some really thick really heavy hoops which I actually can't wear because they hurt my ears a lot of these are just from brands like monkey and ASOS just some kind of like more chunky fun costume jewelry type earrings these are probably some of my favorites you've seen these before they are from ASOS and they're like these enamel green fan earrings so so amazing I've got some H&M ones here some tassely ones these are from monkey i think these little face earrings which i actually have yet to wear because they look gorgeous but they're kind of funny looking when you put them on um and then just another pair i think from asos down there so those are the kind of bigger more i guess you could say more statement earrings that i don't pull out as often um, and i just keep them all in this little wicker basket here so then we come down to this little tray here these are all my huggies and kind of smaller earrings now these ones on the top are the ones that i wear every day so i just keep them in a place i can reach for them more easily i've got the little fan hoops those are from asos i really think asos is a good place to go for earrings in general but definitely little huggies and hoops because they do a lot of gold plated sterling silver 
so they're not going to go green in your ears they're also not going to be super expensive and unaffordable um, i have quite a few of just these little plain gold ones because they're so easy to just throw in and stack up i probably wear a couple of these in my ear at a time because i have three piercings on one ear and two on the other so i just like to layer up little hoops and things like that um i do have an ear cuff in here this is so so pretty it's kind of dainty and small but it's got uh, like rainbow stones going through it. That's from a brand called Shashi. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, really cute little ear cuff. A couple of these are from Masoma. So I've got my Lucy Williams Roman collection, little huggies. They're really cute, very dainty and small, but embellished a little bit. I really like those. These are also from Masoma. They're just little fang hoops. They're a little bit longer and bigger, but they are still um, a little huggy. I think those are really, really cute. These ones I've been wearing a lot at the moment. These are from At Other Stories. They're kind of similar to the Lucy Williams ones, but they're not a completely closed hoop. Um, I do like this little beading detail on jewelry and what else is in here these ones are from aurelia they're quite old now um as are these which have the most gorgeous kind of like emerald baguette cut stones in them i absolutely love that cut of stone i think they just make them a little bit different uh, really pretty so i think that's most of the huggies and ear cuffs that i have in there and at the bottom i have um some slightly smaller earrings that don't quite fit onto this rack here so these i'm kind of devastated about so these are also from the lucy williams masoma roman collection i waited and waited to get these they were out of stock for ages they are little fan hoops and they are just so beautiful i think these may be my favorite pair of earrings i've ever owned but as you can see they've kind of tarnished and i'm not sure what's happened I'm not sure why, but it's kind of bad. These are gold plated, so I'm not quite sure what I need to do to fix these. If I can, if you guys have any tips, please let me know. Um, or if I need to kind of return them and take them back because they're not really wearable at the moment because they have these big stains and marks on them, which is such a shame because they are a gorgeous, gorgeous pair of earrings. I've got some smaller hoops here. These are kind of quite chunky, small, not completely closed up hoops. These are from, I think a brand called Jenny Fisher and uh, these are also some of my most worn ones these are um isabel morant earrings they are really dainty and quite light but they're kind of like a double drop hoop um so they sort of look like a huggy when you're wearing them but then they have another hoop coming off them i think these ones are really special and i do wear them quite a bit and then last of all in here are just another pair of those um braided gold hoops which are from the pack that i got from asos so moving along um we have some more of my most grabbed things i tend to keep my bracelets on here because i don't really open up this case i will quickly show you what's inside right at the end um so this watch i actually found in a charity shop it's kind of like this tiny little gold bracelet watch um it doesn't work but um i just love the way it looks i think it's so pretty i have quite a lot of this shell jewelry as well this one is from uh, etsy it's just a shell bracelet it looks like something you probably find on holiday um but i really love that one i wear that a lot some other shell pieces um this one is from stradivarius i think these two actually came in a little pack together um and then i have my daisy daisy london chakra bracelet this one is crown i think um, it's really pretty. They do all the chakras in pendants, bracelets, necklaces, but I, um, yeah, I really like that one. I wear that quite a lot. So then the rings that I have in here, let's tip these out and go through them. I think it's going to be easier. How sweet is this little dish? So this one is from Shashi as well. It matches the ear cuff that I have and it's just gorgeous, like little tiny, tiny rainbow stones. I do, um, like really dainty rings. Quite a few of these ones. Um, and the ones that I get a lot of questions on are actually from Majuri. So all of these, this tiny uh, stone ring, um, these plain stacking bands, which I have a couple of, this like baby baby um, little signet ring, which says dreamer, if you can see that. Um, and then this thicker kind of like hammered gold band. Those are all from Majuri, who are just a great brand. They're a little bit harder to get hold of here because they are based in the US, but they do some really good pieces and they're all um, really good quality so they don't make your fingers go green. They're all gold plated or gold filled. Then I have a couple from ASOS here and here. These are actually two rings, but when you stack them together, they look like an eye with eyelashes. 
which I think is kind of cute. And this is a little Hamza hand. This one is also from ASOS. It's just kind of like a little pinky finger signet ring. And then I have an absolutely massive um, signet ring here as well, which is from another story. It's got a little B on it. I've got a little shell ring. This was from Etsy. This is one that I found in a vintage store. It's kind of just like this thick gold band with um, these little engravings which kind of sparkle. And then last of all, which is one of my favourite pieces and one that I don't wear a lot nowadays actually. This is the opal, or is it the moonstone ring? It might be the moonstone, uh, siren stone ring from Monica Vinida. I really like this actually, it's gorgeous, I should definitely wear it more. So then inside here are just basically um, the jewellery pieces that I don't wear as much anymore. I've kind of separated them into colours, so I've got all my silver pieces here. I used to wear a lot a silver jewellery, but it's not really something that I reach for ever. I'm definitely more of a gold girl now. Um, who remembers these? This is the Miss Soma Lucy Williams, I think, horn necklace. Um, I actually also have this in a gold here. Still such a gorgeous necklace. I should really pull that out a bit more. Um, what else are in here? Some Miss Soma earrings, some little horn earrings. I've got some rings here. This one is so beautiful. It's from a brand that I found on Revolve. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then some chains, some HRH collection pieces in here. Um, I've got my rose gold. Rose gold used to be a jewellery colour that I wore a lot as well. This is the uh, Riva ring in rose gold, which is from Monica Vinida, and it has these gorgeous little diamond stones on it. Uh, so precious and so beautiful. I still absolutely love that. I've also got one of the uh, Monica Vinida siren rings here in the slightly smaller size um, and then with the rose gold hardware as well. A couple more rings in there from my jewellery. Um, I've got this little pendant which actually has my name engraved into it. Can you see that? Masoma are great if you like personalised pieces. They do a lot of engraving, a lot of personalisation. So it's a great brand to go for for gifts and things like that. Did I just say Masoma? I meant Monica Vinida. That's from Monica Vinida. A few more HRH collection pieces in here. I've got this gorgeous like moon and star pendant which is from Revolve. Um, and then a little catbird moon pendant, which doesn't actually have its chain with it at the moment. In here, there's another Monica Vinida. Um, I think that's the Marie pendant. Some Aurelia pieces. This is an Aurelia fang necklace. Obviously, the Masoma horn necklace. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything for this little jewellery box. I think I've sent Moon to sleep with my monotonous rambling about jewellery. Did you enjoy that? So that is it, that is everything, that is my jewellery collection. Um, I did feel very long-winded and rambly so I do apologise for that but I hope that did answer any questions you guys might have had um, and helped you out. If there are any other things that you haven't seen and that you wanted to know about because I do get quite a few questions about my jewellery, pop me a comment down below and I will try my best to answer it and find out what it is you're looking for. Um, yeah, like I said before, everything that I can manage to find I will link down below as well. And I think that is it. So thank you guys for coming along today um, and watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all again in the next one. Bye!